Hey everybody, this is Jake with TrendSpider, and in this technical analysis series video, we're gonna go over scanning for patterns that are in force. So what exactly does in force mean? If you're trading something or a pattern that's in force, that means the pattern has actually not technically closed yet. So for example, one of the patterns uh, that I can think of right off the bat that many people use is the Strat by Rob Smith. Rob Smith really likes to use these different patterns while they are still forming. So for example here, what I have is, is I have a scan set up and I'm looking for a weekly one, two inside break. And uh, essentially, since we're on the weekly chart and this is only Tuesday, this is technically still in force. It's still forming. And so if you're looking for those setups to uh, kind of catch them before they actually fully materialize, this allows you to do that. So being able to say, you know, I only want to know when this pattern is forming, not when it's actually closed. That's what you can do with this current candle box. So let's say that you only want to scan for uh, patterns that have actually materialized. You don't want to include this current candle because the current candle is making this still in force. So for example, if we turned off the current candle and then rescanned this, we would only be seeing setups that have actually broken out like that have actually already happened. So if you're wanting to use the strat and actually use it the way it's meant to be, which is actually in force while it's still forming, that's when you would use the scanner for this current candle. The thing is, you can use this current candle scanner for anything. It's not just the weekly. If you wanted to go into maybe the 30-minute chart and scan for this particular pattern that's forming on the 30-minute candle, just click the current candle, and that pattern will actually be scanned for when it's currently forming. So once again, as we scan here, notice when I click on ADI, this pattern is still in force. It's still forming on the weekly chart. And that's the difference between scanning the current candle and actually scanning something that's already happened. So moving on, let's do another example, right? We've got the MACD cross. And the thing about the MACD is sometimes once the MACD has already made its cross, this is a bad example here, but there are times where the MACD's cross, so let's say here, right? You, the MACD made its cross right here and that was this candle right here. The move had already really already been made. So what you want to do, you know, you would have been able to, if you would have scanned this maybe into that Tuesday of that week, you may have been able to pick up, let's say, you know, three to 5% just by catching that candle um, into the next week. Now, let's say that you actually want to, you know, scan for, for that. You do the same thing that I just mentioned. You want to make sure your current candle is turned on. So that means on the weekly chart right now, when I clicked the weekly MACD fast, crossed up through the weekly MACD slow, notice that BCOR, this weekly candle, it's only Tuesday, but the MACD is crossing. So that means that the MACD cross has not actually officially happened on this stock, but at the current setup or the current price, the MACD is crossing on the weekly. Now, will that MACD actually cross on Friday when the market closes? We don't know, but this is there to help generate some ideas to get an idea of, oh, okay, the MACD is starting to possibly cross on the weekly or the MACD is possibly starting to cross on the 30 minute. I want to maybe jump into a day trade, a swing trade. You could even do this with position trading if you're using the monthly candle. So the ability to be able to scan these things when they're still currently forming gives you an edge and allows you to be aware that that may be actually closing as a MACD cross before it actually closes. So this is using the MACD. The last example that I'm gonna go into is the RSI. Let's say that you wanted to uh, scan the RSI 12. In this case, since we have uh, the weekly on, the RSI 12 would represent uh, three months, which would be a quarter. So this is essentially testing the quarterly RSI and looking for a break. Notice this is the current candle. It's only Tuesday, but the weekly RSI is potentially breaking through this. So does that mean that I'm going to act now? No, but it means that maybe I should put this on my watch list for a break above 50 going into next week if it's already doing that during the week. So this is by no means to say, hey, you, you want to act on things that have not materialized yet. This allows you to kind of scan the market for setups that may happen in the future because they're starting to form already. So 
That is not just the RSI, not just the MACD. This also goes with candlestick patterns. Like as I just mentioned, uh, Rob Smith uh, created the Strat. We have all of the different types of Strat um, setups here. So it's not just this particular one. You can go through and you can see all of these different um, uh, you know, one twos, two ones, three one twos, all of these different um, patterns that Rob talks about, you can see them here. So um, this is incredibly powerful, especially for those that are using the strat and uh, using that either within a day trading type approach or even a longer term type of approach. Being able to use that current candle and clicking that box really gives you some power to sometimes see what may materialize before it actually does. Hopefully this video was helpful, everybody. This is a very big feature on our platform, so make sure to check it out. And uh, if you have any questions about using the scanner or using any of the other features, please make sure to reach out and let us know and we'll be happy to help. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe and uh, make sure to check out the next video coming in the next week or two. Thank you so much and uh, we'll see you on the other side.